Hi, I'm Mike. Today I'm going to show you how to wire three-way switches. Now I'm not going to show you how to drill holes and pull wires through the walls. What I'm going to do is use diagrams that show very clearly how to connect each wire in each junction box. And I think this will make it very clear to you exactly what you connect to what, and you'll be able to do this yourself in just a few minutes. I'm going to show three different wiring configurations. I'm going to show the light at the beginning of the run where you have the power coming to the light and then you have the switches after that. One where you have the, a switch, then the light, and then the switch, basically the light in the middle of the run. And then I'm gonna show you the light at the end of the run where you have both switches first and then the light. These three-way switches are a little more complicated than your standard switch. They've got an extra screw. It's black, it's called the common. And I'm gonna explain exactly what that common screw is for, what you connect to it. And through these animations, I think it'll make it very clear to you how to wire your three-way switch. And I think you'll be able to do this project in your own home without any difficulty. So let's get started. I'm gonna go through each of these configurations in detail here in just a minute. Three-way switches are a little bit confusing to people. So I wanna show you briefly how three-way switches work. You've got two screws, they're the brass screws, and those are the, called the travelers. Then you've got the black screw, that's called the common. And then you've got the green ground screw. Unlike a regular light switch where the switch is either on or off, a three-way switch is always on. So I've simulated a switch with this yellow line. The switch is always connected to the common, the black screw, and then it's connected to either traveler one or traveler two, depending on which way the switch is, if it's up or down. Depending on the position of the two switches, which are wired together, the light will either be on or off and simply Toggling a switch will change the light from on to off or from off to on. So the first configuration we're going to look at is the light at the end of the run, where the power comes into one of the switch boxes, then it's wired to the next switch, and then the light is at the end. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to start in the junction box for the first switch, and this red rectangle represents that junction box. So we bring the power in. And the power is going to come in on either a 12-2 or a 14-2 with ground wire. If we've got a 15-amp breaker, then you can use 14-gauge wire or 12-gauge wire. If it's a 20-amp breaker, then you've got to use number 12 wire. First thing we're going to do is connect the black wire to the common screw of the switch. Then we're going to put a pigtail on the ground screw. And then we bring in the other wire which is going to connect the two switches together and this wire is going to be a 14-3 or a 12-3 with ground. This means it has a white wire, a black wire, a red wire, and the bare ground wire. The white is normally the neutral and the red and black are normally live wires that carry voltage. And what we do with it is we're going to connect the three grounds together. We'll connect those with a wire nut or a Wago or some other connector. Then you want to connect the two white wires together. And then the red wire and the black wire, we're gonna to connect to the two traveler screws, as you can see. Now, one thing you wanna do is, between the two switches, you wanna have the black wire and the red wires on the same sides of the travelers. So if you put the black wire on the left side on one switch, you wanna put the black wire on the left side on the other switch. Now, it'll work if you don't put them on the same sides on the two switches, but I personally like to have both switches in the up position or in the down position to have the lights on. And that's what you'll get if you have the wires on the same sides of both switches. Okay, now we're gonna go to the second light switch and work in the second junction box. So first thing I show is using a pigtail on the green screw so you can connect the ground wires together. And then we're gonna connect the black and the red wires to the travelers just like we did on the first switch. And that's all we can do until we bring the other wire that's gonna connect the second switch to the light. So let's bring that wire in and we're gonna connect the three grounds together. And then we're gonna connect the two neutral wires together. And then we're gonna bring the black wire and connect it to the common screw. Okay, so now let's go to the junction box for the light. It's pretty simple and I'm just gonna show it in one step. You connect the black wire to the black wire on the light, the white or the neutral to the white wire on the light and you connect the, the bare wire or the ground wire to the ground screw or to the ground wire, whatever you've got coming from the light, and you're done. Okay, now that we've got this circuit all wired together, let's see how things work. Let's give it some power and turn that light on. And now let's set the electricity in motion. You can see how it flows from the wire coming in 
across the first switch to the second switch and over to the light and then back through the switches and, and back out to the main. Now let's see what happens when we toggle the switch. Let's raise the left hand switch and you'll see that the circuit is now open. The electricity stops flowing, the light goes off. Because the electricity can't flow past that second switch, you can see that we have an open circuit there. Okay, now let's toggle the right hand switch and now they're both in the up position. And you can see the electricity starts flowing again. You can see exactly how it flows through the wires and the switches and the light to cause the light to come on. Now let's toggle that left hand switch again and put it in the down position and you can see the electricity stops flowing again. So that's how these three way switches work together to turn that light on and off. So once you understand how these three way switches work, it's pretty simple to understand how to wire them and how they operate that light. Okay, now let's go to the next wiring configuration. In this one, we're gonna show how to wire with the light between the switches. On these, I'm not going to go into all the detail that I went in with the first one, but I'm gonna show you the final configuration and I'm gonna show you how each box is wired separately. So here's what the final wiring configuration looks like. And let's take that one junction box at a time. So here's the first junction box. You can see that you've got the 14-2 or 12-2 wire coming into the junction box. We've got the neutrals connected together. We've got the grounds all connected together. And we've got the black hot wire connected to the common screw. We've also got the 14-3 or 12-3 wire coming into the junction box. And again, we've got the neutrals and the grounds all connected together. And the red and the black wires are connected to the traveler screws. Now let's look at the junction box for the light. Okay, so in this, you can see that the grounds again are connected together. And we connect the two white wires together. That brings the neutral wire to the light. And you can see that the black and the reds, which are the traveler wires, they're just tied together in the junction box for the light, but they are not actually connected to other wires. They just pass through the box. The most important thing here to see is that we've connected what's normally the neutral or the white wire to the black wire on the light. Typically, you don't connect a white wire and a black wire together, but in this case, we do. But to mark that white wire as a hot wire, you've got to wrap some black electrical tape around it or in some other way identify it as a hot wire and that's always done with a black coloring of some kind so again we've connected that white wire to the black wire from the light and we've marked the white wire as hot we're now finished with the junction box for the light so now let's go to the junction box for the other switch so this one is pretty simple we connect the ground to the ground screw we connect the black and the red wires to the travelers and again you want to connect them on the same sides on both the first switch and the second switch and then what was the neutral wire, which is the white wire, and we also mark the other end of it with some black electrical tape, we connect to the common screw. And that's what takes the power to the light. And that's all there is to this wiring configuration. So let's look at the whole thing again. So again, the secret is you always connect the black and the red wires to the travelers and you connect the hot wire to the common screw on one of the switches, and you connect the black wire from the light to the other common screw. And that's almost all you need to know to wire these three-way switches. Okay, now let's go to the last wiring configuration, which is the light at the start of the run. Once you've seen the first two, this one is not much different from those. So let's take a look at the final wiring configuration for this one, and then we'll go through it one junction box at a time. So the power comes into the junction box for the light. And again, you're gonna have a 14-2 or 12-2 with ground coming in. And this one may be just a bit more tricky. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna connect the neutral wires together, the neutral wire from the light and the neutral wire from the power in wire. We're also gonna have another set of 12-3 or 12-2 wire coming into this junction box. And it's going to run to the junction box for the first switch, but let's stay here at the light box for now. So we're gonna connect the two black wires together we're going to connect all three grounds together. And then, if where it gets a little bit tricky, on this one also, we're going to connect the white wire, which normally is neutral, to the black wire from the light. And since this white wire will now be carrying voltage, we've got to again mark it with some black electrical tape. Okay, so that's it as far as the junction box for the light goes. Now let's go to the junction box for the first switch. In this one, we've got the 12-2 or 14-2 wire that comes from the light junction box. And we've also got another wire coming into this junction box, which is 14-3 or 12-3 wire, which is also going to the junction box for the other switch. So again, all the grounds are connected together. We've got to use a pigtail to go to the green screw on the switch. 
We connect the black wire coming in from the light box to the common screw on the switch, and we connect the black and red wires to the traveler screws. Lastly, we connect the two white wires together, but these wires are no longer neutrals. They are going to be carrying voltage, so again, we must mark them both with black electrical tape or some other black marking to identify them as hot wires. And that's all we do here in this first switch box. Now let's go to the junction box for the second switch. This one is really pretty simple. It's only got the one set of wires coming in. It's the 14.3 or 12.3 wire coming from the junction box for the first switch. And again, just like before, we connect the black and the red wires to the two traveler screws. We connect the ground wire to the green screw on the switch. And we connect the white wire, which is now a hot wire, to the common screw on the switch. And again, we must mark it with electrical tape to show that it is a hot wire and not a neutral wire. And that's all there is to wiring this configuration. We're finished. Real quickly, let's take one last look at this wiring configuration. I hope you've learned something watching this video. I've tried to show you the basics of how three-way switches work, and I've shown you how each of these three wiring configurations needs to be put together to make the three-way switches and lights work properly. I really appreciate you watching this video. I sure would appreciate a like. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.